What is going on guys, my name is AK, back again with another YouTube video. Now in today's video, we're going over the Gavutu control. So this is spawns, uh, offense and defense strats, just good spots and things that I think you guys are gonna find helpful. So uh, similar to the Tuscan video, we're gonna have pictures in the bottom corner, um, sort of showing you what the spots look like inside the actual map. I think you guys found that one helpful. Um, so with that said and done, let's jump straight into it. So here we are on tack maps. As I mentioned, we're going to go through all the spots on tack maps, and then uh, you'll see in the bottom corner what they look like actually in the game. So uh, I think the best thing to do is kick it off with the spawns. So the spawns on Kavutu are actually very, very, very easy. There's two main spawn points um, for your offense. It is down the bottom here, um, just off the little cliff off the back of P4. Uh, and on your defense, it's towards the side um, of the, the back building here um, at, the, at the back of Red Tower. To actually work out the spawns, I watched quite a few Gavutu control um, gameplays from the CDL, and these two spawn points made up, I want to say, 95, maybe more, percent of all of the spawns that happened during the map. So uh, that's for both the B point. I know this is hard point here, um, but that's B here. That's your B control point. Uh, unfortunately, TAC Maps doesn't have a uh, control setting just yet, uh, but that's B and A there. Um, so for both the A and the B, 99% of the spawns were either on this side for defense or that side for offense. It's only once you actually push up into the enemy spawn that the uh, the actual spawn points themselves uh, start to change. So uh, we'll start with the offense side of things. So uh, a slight alternative from here is actually on the top of P4, just um, behind the sort of the tower bit. Occasionally you'll get a spawn there and that's sort of the, the, the route from that is to run straight into bottom mid. Uh, and then very rarely if you have a... Uh, enemy player pushed up here so say someone on the defense has got through a pushed all the way up into the enemy spawn that actually can block both of these uh, and then the spawn is just by the truck um, outside of that uh, or just the other side of that p4 rock now i will say if you're set up over here uh, let me just put the uh, the blue player there they can still spawn on p4 um sort of towards the back and side of p4 there so just because you're pushed up here doesn't mean you can't expect them to spawn very close even if a player is set up here they can spawn at the back of p4 here too a very close spawn there, um, but yeah, occasionally they will spawn out sort of to the far side there. Um, but yeah, most of most of the time, if you're not pushed up and sort of influencing the spawns yourself, they're going to be spawning here. Same sort of goes for defense. This is the 99% of the time spawn. Um, occasionally, if you're pushed up, there will be spawns towards the deep back of the spawn. Um, if you're, say, blocking P5 and then getting pressure on here, so say you've got uh, a player that's blocked here uh, and a player that's pushed up here, the spawns will then go towards the deep back there. Um, or the only other thing that can happen is if you have a player in this deep back here, so a player sort of maybe pushed through, jumped up red tower, controlling the back there, the only other spawn point is down the bottom of docks. So if you're if you're spawning down the bottom of the docks, you need to tell your teammates there's someone in the back spawn and they need to be dealt with um, because that's the only reason that you'll be spawning down the bottom here. That basically makes up the six spawn points for uh, Kavutu Control. There may be some other ones, like very rare spawn points that you're not going to see very often, but from the two or three games of um, Control that I watched, these were the only spawn points that I found with uh, this one here and this one over here making up, I'd probably say, yeah, 95% or more of all of the spawns on the map. So knowing that info, how does that determine how we're going to break and hold um, the two control points? So we'll start with offense, uh, just because it's the hardest side to win. So what we like to do, uh, or what a very common strat is that I think works quite well, is send um, three players towards the A site, uh, and then have one that sort of plays slow um, towards the P1 side. Quite often, uh, they will send a player towards P1 as well on, on defense, just uh, just in case you do send a lot towards the B side. A is definitely the easier point to capture. That's 90% of the time going to be the first one you capture before you capture B. Um, so in my, my way of playing, playing control is I like to capture the easy point first uh, and then try and play for the harder point just because that gives you generally the better sort of life advantage. I will say lives are going to become less important now um, with the latest CDO update. They're changing that. So the last round is going to be decided upon uh, by ticks. So how many um, ticks of the control point you've got throughout the previous rounds. Definitely uh, an improvement there. They did that in Cold War as well. But yeah, so this is the way I like to do it. Send three towards A, get that top ship control. Watch out for the person standing in the back of the green building. They challenge it quite a lot. They can watch the bridge cross. Just expect it. You're going to win the gunfight if you're on the bridge side. You're, you're sort of favoured towards there. Uh, and then just try and capture A and have this player here either just be a nuisance around P1. Uh, watch that cross sort of here in case they try and come off red tower. Most of the time they're going to hit green or down low docks. So even if you sort of set up on that tank and watch the cross that way, that works as well. But basically have that player be annoying or the other option is they can run onto B and actually start trying to get some sort of capture on that objective. And now moving on to breaking the B point on uh, control. If you capture A, 
I wouldn't hit the top there. Um, the head glitches and the rocks and things at the back here are going to give you um, a much easier gunfight than trying to kill them off P1. That's not always the, uh, the easiest thing to do. So what I like to do is actually hit up the bottom of P5, try and get that red tower control. Um, because remember, if you've got controller here, if you're locking down the back spawn, their spawn is down the bottom uh, by docks here. So all you have to do is you get a player set up on this tank. They can watch this sort of... Um, Docks push, they can watch the push out of green, uh, have some some player blocking the back, and then you've got two people on the point, something like that. This guy's making sure that they don't spawn anywhere. This guy's locking them down off the spawn. Again, if they do sort of decide to hit the back spawn, this player can be set up on a rock, anything at the back there, just being a nuisance. Uh, and then the other two, uh, or even if you pushed one up and just had one capturing the point, that way you're going to get a much, uh, much sort of favoured spawn, as if you're trying to head that way, and they're spawning in the deep back. They can flood to the hill a lot quicker, and they've got a sort of a better line of sight to to kill you from so definitely hit around the low try and get away for kills hit it as a four hit all, all of your players send them this way together or uh, maybe two or three and have sort of one the, the or the one or two that are playing for the hill hit the top but definitely flip them out of their spawn get them spawning down the low docks uh, and get them in a the little spawn trap there or at least that's how i like to play it give it a go see if it works for you if not and you've got some strats for your team give them a try too so now onto the defense side of things. Now, I mentioned that someone always goes in that window. Uh, if the enemy team have half a brain, they're going to expect that. So you're probably going to get killed there. Wouldn't advise that. I'd suggest having players hit the uh, the low docks to either jump up or climb up the ladder to get that sort of top boat control. Have someone hit down actually into the A point itself. So sort of come down low mid and, and run straight into the A point because, of course that is the, the the favored site so you want to get most people on a expecting that it's probably an a push again i would always recommend have someone go b um uh, have an ar either set up at the back or, or sort of hop up to p1 or just play a ratty corner you know if, if they're going to go b this player will be able to shoot a few of them in the back if you're sitting in a little corner or something so have a player that does go b just to watch in case they do because a four stack of b uh, off the start it can sort of ruin a round um, or so well um, be very good for an offense round if you can get B or at least sort of two ticks on that that's going to be uh, that's going to put you in a good position so have a player that just watches that push um, even if they sit in a little corner and then for your other player I don't know have them set up maybe on the tank in the mid just to watch sort of the push up just you got to remember most of the spawns are towards the back here so um, if you can watch that cross across the top bridge um, then you're probably going to be picking up most of the kills. Another thing that is a massive annoyance for the uh, the offense team is if this player down the bottom or uh, or anyone really uh, overextends pushes up to this side of the beach, you can watch that cross. Um, you're going to be guaranteeing that they spawn in the back there just because you've blocked any chance at a spawn here. Um, and then all you got to do sit in the back, watch the cross. You can pick up loads of kills. Always you want to make sure that you've got someone there. Um, if you watch the optic versus breach game uh, from uh, a couple of weeks ago now, I think it was, they always had a player up on this side and putting them in a blender. You know you're going to get a massive kill advantage because every time they step out of the spawn they're walking straight into your uh, into your automat and line of sight so free kills get someone pushed up on the beach but i like to do it when i am on the beach because i like to play it sometimes is just hop around different spots you know lay prone behind the wall with if you know they're pushing you um lay on the tank try the rock there's, there's loads of little sort of spots that you can sit in that are going to give you um, a chance to pick up a kill or two and yeah life advantage at the moment is massive uh, and even when it changes um sort of the rules you know, getting kills on control is never a bad thing. Uh, it will help you win rounds. So yeah, that's definitely uh, definitely a good spot to play. And for defending the B point, you basically you want to do the opposite of what uh, I said for the offense round. Make sure you lock down your backspawn. Get someone on the red tower. Um, maybe not overextended if someone's on the on the top third of the boat, but someone that's locking down that push through the spawn. They're always going to try and do it to flip you out of the spawn um, and then maybe have one or two watching the sort of the front push there from P1. Uh, and then yeah, have even if you have one guy locking down p1 itself sort of get pushed up because by the time they hit back down you're going to be back up off respawn just remember that don't don't sit sort of too deep in your spawn because then if they get a kill uh you're sort of, they're sort of straight on the point if they're killing you here or, or wherever if you push up and get aggressive by the time you respawn uh they're still not on the point so get aggressive on control on uh, on defense that does work but yeah basically make sure they don't get in your spawn keep your spawns at the back here and you should win most of your defenses they are the easier round to win but that is about it for my Gavutu control. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, let me know. Make sure you watch the Tuscan one as well. That should uh, hopefully be very helpful for those of you that need a little bit of work on your, on your Tuscan control. And share the video with your teammates, of course, uh, and go through these strats. Let me know what you think. But I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.